guys. Okay, so long time no see. Um, please excuse me looking so bad. I am in one of my friend's old huge t-shirts and, um, like I was supposed to go out to the movies tonight, but I wound up not going because all my friends canceled, so... I got out of my nice dress clothes and I got into this and I decided I was just going to make this video so yeah um it's on birth control and I have been taking the pill as a rep um but I'm going to kind of like backtrack into the birth control that I used to take if any of you guys have seen my old video you would know that I used to be on Marina and I was on that for about eight months and um yeah I was on it for about eight months and at first I really liked it it was really nice what I loved most about it the whole time I was on it I never had a period at all so that was such like a benefit you know not having to deal with the mess not having to clean up anything it was really nice however I would have to say about my fourth month of being on it, I broke out in terrible, terrible, terrible cystic acne all over my face. I kid you not, I literally had about 80 pimples, 80, 80 pimples on my face and they would never come to a head. It was so bad to the point that my parents were even like, Kylie, what are you doing to your face? Like like quit messing with your face like what's going wrong because my whole life I've always been so blessed with good genetics and having amazing skin and so for me to go from having flawless skin to completely terrible acne I was devastated I did not want to leave the house when I put makeup on I still felt so ugly I felt hideous I began to lose all of my hair from this birth control. I was so angry. I was so mad. It was just the worst nightmare of my life. Mind you, this is just my experience. And this is not to say that yours or any other woman's out there will be bad like mine. This is just my experience. I will never get on a birth control that's permanent where you have to insert it like the implant on how you insert it in your arm or the um, IUD like the Mirena or the copper IUD I will never in my life ever get on a permanent birth control in my like in my life ever again I will only get on something if it's like the pill or if it's something that I can take out and I can stop it not something that has to be surgically inserted and removed so yes um thankfully yeah i got off of that birth control the marina and for years i did not get on any other birth control because i was scared that literally devastated me so actually i take that back after the marina i wound up getting on and the birth a pill I wound up getting on a pill. It was about like six months later after I got off of the marina. I got on the pill. I can't tell you what brand it is because I don't remember. But all I know is that that birth control pill was not good either. Like I was bleeding so bad, so terribly. But I kind of feel like I really didn't give it a shot because... I was only in my first pack and I was bleeding, but that's normal. Your body has to get used to it. You know, your uterus has to shed the lining. Your body has to adjust. And I stopped taking that pill within the first month because, you know, I had just had a terrible experience with the Mirena that I was so scared to death of this birth control, birth control pill. And mind you, my skin cleared up, started clearing up off once I got off of the marina. Well, when I got onto this pill, my skin started breaking out again. And my skin and my hair are everything to me. So, yeah, when I was on the pill and it, my, I was bleeding terribly, I started getting acne again. 
I was like, I'm done. I'm done. Like, this is it. I'm not getting on anything. So that's when I stopped. And for about two and a half years, I was not on anything. I was not on the pill. I was on no birth control because I was scared to death. Absolutely frightened. And about three and a half months ago, I had a doctor's visit with my gynecologist just for a checkup, everything like that. And so I went there and my gynecologist was like, are you on any birth control? And I was like, no. And I explained to her my horrific story of all these birth controls I've been on, especially the Marina. And she's like, well, would you like to get on birth control? And I am planning on joining the Air Force. So I don't have any kids. I've never been pregnant. I've never had a miscarriage. I've never nothing. And with me planning on joining the Air Force, I definitely cannot risk getting pregnant. Like, I can't. This is my dream. And so I have to do everything in my power to take action to prevent myself from having a baby, you know? And that's not the only reason, but I was just kind of like, you know, it's been so long that I haven't been on anything. I kind of want to give it another shot. So after I explained to my doctor that the horrific stories and she's like, okay, like, well, let's talk to you about different birth control options. I was like, I want to get on the pill. Like, that's what I want to get on. I've thought about the NuvaRing. I haven't done a lot of research on it. If any of you guys have, please let me know. I don't know if I'll get on it because so far I absolutely love this birth control that I'm on. But I thought about maybe the Nuvarine, but I just decided to go with the pill. And so she wound up prescribing me this birth control. I'm going to cover up all my information, but it comes in a package like this. Let me see. Yeah, I gotta cover this up. That's all my information. But it comes in a package like this. It's called Azurette. And it's in a yellow package with blue Azurette writing. And it's like this. But the actual birth control itself looks like this. So it comes like this. And then on the back... Like any typical birth control, it has like the weekly schedule, so whatever day you start on. And then for your birth control, you pull this out. And then here's all your pills. You have these two green ones. Okay, we'll scratch that. All of these up here are your active pills. Then you have two inactive pills, which are these two green ones. And then these five blue ones have a very, very low dose of estrogen. So, it, from what I read, it's supposed to help with, um, so that way you don't have as bad of cramps and everything like that. So, like I said, I went to the doctors about three and a half months ago, and it took me about half a month to even begin taking this because I was scared to death what was going to happen to me. Was I going to get bad acne? That is my number one thing with birth control. If it gives me acne, I'm not taking it. Like, I'm sorry, no. So it took me half a month to finally make the decision. Okay, Kylie, I'm going to try this. So I wound up taking it. And I've been on it for about three months now, and I love it. Oh my gosh. I finally have found something that works so well with my body. Like, and I wanted to put this birth control out there in case any of you women were looking for something new or just wanted some advice. Um, so... The first week I started taking this, but especially the first three days that I started taking it, I was very emotional, like crying. I wasn't going crazy. It wasn't anything severe. It wasn't terrible, but I was just a little bit more emotional. And if you know me, I'm not really that much of a sensitive person. I don't 
really cry a lot. I just, I don't, I don't know. That's just how I am. So, for the first three days, I was like a little bit more emotional, a little bit more sensitive. If I seen something sad on TV, a sad movie, like I would tear up, you know, but it wasn't anything bad. Like the guy I was talking to at the time, he did wind up irritating me so much more. I got irritated way quicker. So yeah, the first week, my body definitely was adjusting. So then um, by the third week, the beginning of the third week, actually I scratch that. So yeah, the first, I'm going to go into the second week. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. So yeah, the first week I was emotional. And then the second week, that is when I noticed my skin got so freaking clear. Like I've already had naturally clear skin. This stuff took my clear skin to a whole nother level. I absolutely love it. I, I literally don't break out. I've actually lost weight on this birth control pill. I haven't gained weight on it. I haven't lost my hair. My hair actually has like grown a little bit. Like, I feel like my, since my body's adjusted, I am not as moody because before I was on the pill or anything, I was very grouchy. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, but like I got irritated really quickly and I feel like me taking this has really helped me in the way of I'm able to hold in my emotions and not snap so quick. Um, it's honestly the complete freaking opposite of everything else I've ever taken and so I love it. Like so far it has been great. It has been wonderful. Um, and the number one thing that I like most, like I've stated, is my clear skin. So, if you guys are on the hunt for a new birth control pill, um, if you guys have been on the marina and have had bad experiences and you're maybe possibly looking for something else, I would definitely, you know, talk to your doctor about this. Definitely don't take my word completely for it. Talk to your doctor. Find out what's right for you and you know go from there but I definitely wanted to share this with you guys because I was looking on YouTube to see if anyone has talked about the Azurette birth control and I didn't see anybody talk about it. I've only seen like really bad reviews on um, just like online that you can read. Oh yeah and I forgot to mention okay the first pack at the beginning of the third week I started bleeding and I bled for the whole third week and the very last week so for my very first pack I bled all of this week and then this is the week you're supposed to have your period and I bled all of this week so I started bleeding one week before I was even supposed to have my period however it is okay if you're just starting a birth control especially your first month your first three months, but especially your first month, your first month or two, your body is so getting used to it. Your body is getting adjusted. And when you bleed, your uterus is shedding the lining. All of that lining, your uterus is shedding. So that way, if an egg is released, it won't be able to implant into your uterine lining and a baby won't be able to grow. So that's why, you know, you're bleeding so much like your first week so that way a baby cannot get implanted to your lining. So it's okay. I promise you stick with it, get through it, and your body will adjust. I even called my doctor and I was like, oh my God, like I'm bleeding. Like, I don't know if I can deal with this. Like just because all of the horrific nightmares I went through with other birth controls I didn't even know if I wanted to still stay on it but what gave me hope to stick through was my skin got clear I had really clear skin and so I was like you know what my skin has is even better than before I was on the pill I'm gonna stick with it I'm gonna keep on pushing and I'm just gonna let my body adjust I'm so thankful that I did because I love it. It's such a good pill. Um, at first, 
like I said, the first week when my body was getting adjusted to it, um, it did make me a little bit nauseous, but it made me nauseous when I took it on an empty stomach. So I would definitely suggest eating it or taking it with a meal until your body gets used to it. Now I don't have to take it with a meal and I'm fine. Um, but yes, I mean, like, that's really all I can think of on the top of my head to tell you guys. I definitely would check it out, talk to your doctor, do reviews and stuff. And yeah, so I hope that this um, review helped you guys in any type of way or my experience has helped you. I got a lot of comments on my marina video like oh my god is she dead is she still alive did it kill her no i'm still alive i'm still here so yeah um i hope you guys have a good day and leave me comments below if you guys have questions